So, the October window is upon us. And the JFF and manager Steve McLaren have released the squad for games in the Nations League against Nicaragua and Honduras. And alas, no Leon Bailey again. Now, some people might be surprised. Why? I don't know. Bailey was absent from the last squad because of injury. So at first glance, one would figure the same reason for the latest absence, as was stated here. But wait. The Reggae Boy squad was released on Friday. Bailey played in the Champions League against Bayern Munich two days before on Wednesday. Where he was a sub substitute. We soon talk about that. But then he would start against Manchester United on Sunday, two days later. So a player who needs time to recover plays two high-profile games in five days. Okay, so with Jacob Ramsey injured, it makes way for Bailey to start, even with one leg. And we can argue the coach doesn't have another player. But still, the player has not recovered from injury. Fully. That's what they say, right? The question is, with Ramsey fit and Bailey fit, who would get the start? Plus, putting the player on against even a limp in Manchester United is still a big risk. So wait now, hold on. You're saying the coach would rather work Bailey to a pulp? Or is it that Bailey is willing to put his body on the line for his club and money? Whichever way, I guess it is the world of professional sports, right? Happens all the time. Okay. Although we know some players would never have to go through that, the coach would be mauled for taking such a risk on the player's health. I guarantee you that. I wonder, though, if Bailey would do the same for the country of his birth. Well, we know the answer to that one. Because for one, Jamaica cannot pay me, bro. Now, in the game against Bayern, Bailey would be handed one of the biggest diss in football. Subbed on and then subbed off. Of course, he dare not say a word in anger publicly. In fact, he was very complimentary on social media. Who remember this incident? You see how quick he retracted and tried to use the media as a scapegoat? Now, is it that he's not as big and important as he would like to think? Really and truly, if I want, I can step out of the lane and make somebody know, say, yo, bro, we're not the same. We're not on the same level, bro. Just asking. It's just a question. Big baller in Jamaica, but just another player in England? Like I said, it's just a question. Now, I wonder, though, if any of these incidents had been with the JFF and Jamaica, how would Bailey have reacted? But me is not like a norm, or other normal player that's there, bro. Mm -hmm. Like Jamaica and the JFF is a weak fence, right? I don't know. Just asking. But let us think a bit about what he said in that infamous interview and his subsequent actions in missing the Copa America. Jamaica national team can't really do much for me, you know. Bad like a lion against his country. Tame as a kitten against club and money. Again, I'm just asking a question. Okay? Just a question. Now, we all know and agree that the JFF is not much to write home about. But Mikel Antonio said this. Since Leon's come out and said things, I think things have turned around and they're trying to make a change. So any, any percentage better is better. So if that's the case, now would be a good time for Bailey to show up and show out. And let us see his true worth. Just saying. But guess what? Now that he has used his mouth to put pressure on the JFF, and they responded in a satisfactory way, according to Antonio. I ain't going to say it's perfect, but they're, they're trying more now. Bailey is nowhere to be found. The pressure is now back on him to perform. But, hold up. In another twist, I think the pressure is actually now back on the JFF as to how they will handle a player who obviously has no desire or commitment to play for his country. 
Are they now going to just leave him to toil for the white bosses and their money? I know some of you are going to say, well, you know, stay where the money is. Okay, that's reasonable. But big man thing, Shamar Nicholson opted out of this window. But look, he gave a big man and responsible reason. Just the honest truth. You can't beat that. Now, the truth, though, is that Bailey has made his truth very clear. Me being national team right now, it has, it has drained my energy a lot. Now, he and his agent, slash father, have always wanted the player to be treated as some form of a demigod or prima donna. But you see, that respect is commanded, not demanded. Work on the field will have to justify that kind of star status. You want demigod status with them stats, yeah? Seriously? All right. Club football and the international game are different. We know that. But still, brethren, you have not delivered World Cup qualification, Gold Cup, nor the Nations League. You see, the standard by which we measure legendary and godlike status is Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Who remember this? Ronaldo couldn't play but stayed on the sidelines to literally coach his team. Messi missed a penalty and couldn't and didn't deliver a title to his country. And the man ball. Now both these players at that time would have achieved everything possible for their clubs and were rich beyond imagination. They could have said, may I have money, gue, and run with them country. But no, they stood up and they delivered titles and joy, cementing their legendary status. And anything they get, they more than deserve. Now, I think it was René Simois who once said that the yellow shirt, heavy. In other words, the Jamaica national jersey is not easy to wear. It comes with much responsibility and pressure, as it should. Not everybody can manage it. My opinion, Leon Bailey is yet to prove that he deserves and can manage the yellow jersey. Now, as for this October window, Antonio, the pressure is now back on the players, remember? We have the ability, we have the quality, we have the players, the skill. It's just keeping the mentality, keeping that mentality for 90 minutes because I feel like, obviously, with the experience um, of trying to keep the set mentality, keep going for 90 minutes, small little mistakes cost us. And on the, when you're playing at the best level, you have to stay tuned on for the full 90 minutes. As soon as you don't, we get punished for it. So let us see the team produce the same stats as against Cuba, but with goals and wins against Nicaragua and Honduras. And I mean, it's about time you give us some pretty win. You know, yeah, man, dominate the ball and, yeah, you know, win some game and look good. Look like Jamaica, look like reggae boys, you know? Yeah. You think you can do it? Well, we'll be watching. Bless.